In this video, we're going to talk about one of the most basic of questions that salespeople ask us, how do I improve my selling skills? Hi, Bill Kasky, author of Same Game, New Rules and co-host of the Advanced Selling Podcast with Brian Neal. We get the question a lot. An organization calls us up and says, hey, we don't, aren't getting the results we want. We want better selling skills for our people. And we think that you need selling skills, but I'm going to give you three things today that really preempt selling skills. They actually come before selling skills. And so I think what you'll find is, although these are considered skills, these sort of lead into skills. So here's number one. Tip number one is, Read all you can on how people change. Now what we mean by this is think about what selling is. Selling is you're going in proposing a course of action that's different than what the prospect is doing now. So you had better understand how human beings change. They change as a result of problems they face or pain they feel. They change as a result of, uh, of an opportunity that exists that they want to exploit. It's really the emotional reasoning behind change. So read all you can on that. There's plenty of great literature on it. We wrote a book called Same Game, New Rules. I'd love it if you read that. But there's a lot of really good books on how people change, human nature. Number two, work on positioning. You know, this is one thing that we find people really struggle with. We don't want you to be positioned as the average everyday salesperson who shows up waiting for a purchase order or waiting for a deal. We'd rather you be positioned as a problem finder, as a problem focused person who's going to help the customer A, understand what problem they have and B, help them find a way to fix it. So when you walk in, think about how are you positioned, not just how you look and how you dress, but the kinds of questions you ask, how you run the meeting, do you send an agenda up front or do you just let the prospect dictate the agenda? Of course, we choose the former. So make sure you make a list of those things that really affect how you're positioned and start to work on those. I think you'll find the sales process becomes a lot easier. And number three, publish something. It doesn't have to be a book. It doesn't have to be a pamphlet. It doesn't even have to be an article. But if you publish something on a regular basis, and we call it the cornerstone or flagship piece, something that, that talks about the problems your customers have in their business, maybe some trends they're facing, publish something that positions you as an expert, someone who's valuable, someone who they are going to call on or at least accept your invitation when you want to go in and see them. So make sure that you read how people change, understand that, Work on your positioning, how you show up, what frame of mind you're in, and then publish something that you can give them so that they say, okay, this person knows what they're talking about. They're not just trying to sell me something, they're trying to help me. If you liked what this video uh, discussed and you want to hear the 11 others in the series, make sure you go down below this video, put in your email address, your first name, and the other videos will be on their way to you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.